Jean Lafitte Mansion, Galveston, Texas. We're frickin' live right frickin' now. As the legend reads, this was an outpost as well as his fine-tuning mansion, among many, but this is the only one in Galveston, Texas on record. According to also the legend, he had many cannon artillery pieces facing towards the shore. And these remains, what this is, is the remnants of the lower levels, okay? So just imagine this higher, okay? So if y'all look, this line right here, the standard, what would be logically sea level or the like, you would go up, okay, into the Logic Mansion. And we're going to go to that right now. So right here, right underneath the front staircase that still remains of the original stones. One moment. As the historical sign says, pause if necessary. So this logically is the main entrance. So that's a shipyard in a distance. And as you can see, most of this is rubble. Staircase going down. Now there's several legends in regards to paranormal about this location. Many people say that there can be a wailing lady. Many people say that you can hear dogs barking in particular, the equivalent to like coyotes, but yet there's no logical coyotes, things like that. There's so much fucking paranormal activity here, it's not even funny, I can feel it. Now if y'all look carefully, you can actually see how this was originally made. Seashells and the like. This is predating, obviously, standard concrete today. I mean, look at that frickin' shell right there. Now what's very creepy is I already had filmed originally with two of my paranormal investigation friends and I lost that video altogether. 
So this is obviously the daylight video of said location. I just feel like I'm being watched. And logically, the sun is out. I mean, this is some eerie shit. And I want y'all to pay close attention to this part. We noticed this also when we came. Keep in mind, it was dark. This is cast iron. This is the same thing that first edition rail lines were obviously made out of. Okay? They don't even make this material anymore because it's so brittle. We think that this is logically was like a trap door, if you will, to go into one of his, if you will, like an ammo bunker or the like, cache. We also think that this right here was another trap door, because if you look, you could see that same iron material. I mean, do y'all see that? And this, we think, was either a well or a pit to cook can go either way can go freaking either way Fuck the energy's intense here. Now keep in mind, as you can see, there's modern structures and housing. And of course, you know, this is literally for the docks, shipping, receiving cargo. So as you can see, you can see all the truck tractor trailers. But just imagine this in its heyday, top of the line, artillery pieces, logically pointing out towards a port and of course, that direction, standard, is the logical gulf. So this feeds out. If you follow this in, it goes into today's Houston. So it's the Galveston-Houston ship channel, obviously. But imagine him and this emplacement for artillery, okay? Shore batteries. And this was his mansion. Among many again, like I said.
Now I'm gonna make this a multiple part series. This is obviously gonna be the daylight video. And like I say all the time, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Please click on the about section and that describes everything, what I stand for, what I train, how to get in contact with me. If you don't have my direct number, my email is there. Also, if you would like to help me pay, if not donate for my training and my content, okay? It's a lot of work to do this, especially when I'm doing pew pew. I don't know if y'all know, ammo went way up this year. So if y'all can help me, that'd be awesome. Again, I'm in Galveston, Texas at the Jean Lafitte Mansion. This is some serious paranormal shit. I kill for a spirit box or the light. And I wish it was already darker so I can get a better, way better freaking paranormal activity. It's more of what you feel. As an empath, that's what we do. We feel things and people think we're schizophrenic or whatever. When in fact, you know, if you know your scriptures, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Jasher, Enoch, Moses, Noah, Job, Ruth, Esther, all these individuals were blessed, okay? All these people fought some way, somehow. If it wasn't the physical realm, they fought the metaphysical realm, the spiritual realm. That's also what I incorporate in my teaching. Keep in mind, that's more of a one-on-one, -on -one, obviously, and I'm not gonna say that in a distinctive class unless those people are on the same level, no disrespect. Paranormal is its own ball game, I'm telling you. And with this being said, this is what I've always wished to do, and I'm live here, right frickin' now. I mean, I'm literally walking on what remains of, logically, one of the upper floors. Like I said, right there, right there. As you can see where these vehicles are at right now, that staircase that I filmed earlier, logically comes, you can see the borderline which splits the first level to the second level. And keep in mind, where I stand now, about these palm trees height, that's where logically the top of the mansion would be. Okay, so several hurricanes, several floods, several looters, grave robbers, treasure hunters, the list goes on. This city, the county, everybody pretty much not taking care of this property. Hence, if you could see correctly, y'all could see that you could tell that squatters have been here okay if y'all look carefully right there in that general area it's like a top hat we think when I was here with my paranormal friends paranormal investigative friends we think somebody tried to loot this as you could see because look it, it's not, it's not laser etched. This isn't precise cutting into this stone. This has to be many years old. This is not logically current. I mean, look at the remains of the stairs. That should tell you something. Look at the curtilage right here. This took years, several years to get to this point. Now, like I said, this is gonna be a two-part series. So, hopefully I get to come back here right when there's no more logical sun or it's about to be the end of its zenith and I can film part two. I might do a part three, I'm not certain. I got more investigations to do while I'm here because I'm on a roll, people. I'm on a freaking roll. Again, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Tell your friends about my business channel. You're willing to do some training reach out to me again Android and iPhone go to your about section it means logically scroll at the top when you literally click on my channel itself 
scroll over to your logical left with your thumb or index finger, you will see it'll say home, videos, etc. There's a little arrow to the far right when you scroll to its very end. That arrow, click on it. You click on it, it gives you options. Look for about. You click on said about, logically, guess what? That's how you find out literally what I stand for, what I'm about, how I train, what I train, what, what, what my main goal is. And then of course, it connects to my business channel link on my GoFundMe business link. Do you mind? Harley just went by. But again, I need backup. I need people to train. I need people to go on investigations with me. You think I'm joking. So anybody's feeling froggy, let's do it, okay? I'm pretty certain I'm gonna be one of the first ones to ever do this to logically not only train in martial arts, boxing, firearms, but guess what? I do freaking paranormal investigations and I don't back down. The scarier, the god dang better, okay? And I just heard a weird noise and logically there should be nobody on property. This entry point and this entry point is the only two logical ways to get in here and I just heard shuffling, that is weird. Stand by, I'm about to investigate. Shit, right when I was going down the stairs, it was like somebody was right the fuck behind me. That was creepy. But badass at the same time. Now again, if y'all hear anything that doesn't sound like true interruptions of vehicles, motorcycles, the light, as y'all can see, that's a major roadway in that window right through there. And this is the alleyway to the back of the property. Believe it or not, what I smell right now is death. It's a very faint but pungent smell. Again, if y'all see anything or hear anything, please post it in the comments. Also keep it civil. Like I said, this is gonna be, if I can help it, at least the minimum of a two-part series. In conclusion, holy shit, I just heard a weird noise. In conclusion, this is gonna be probably close to the conclusion of part one. Like I always say, you have to freaking keep fighting. You have to freaking be aware, especially with what's going on, hint, hint, around the world, in particular in our country. Like I always say, the war between good and evil is very freaking real.
very freaking real so like always like freaking always 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 in a fight and stay freaking tactical